The FDQ series of flow sensors simply clamp onto a pipe and detect all sorts of liquid flow. How is it possible for the FDQ to detect the amount of flow from outside of the pipe? The FDQ utilizes the Delta TOF method. When there is no flow running through the pipe, the signal sent from the transmitter arrives at the receiver after a certain period of time. As liquid begins to flow, the signal is again referenced. As you can see, the faster the flow, the quicker the signal is transferred to the receiver. FDQ translates this difference in time into the flow rate. If we were to simply send the signal in a single direction, external factors, such as temperature variations, could cause inconsistent flow readings, even though the flow rate has not changed. With the Delta TOF method, the signal is sent from both directions. When the liquid is not flowing in the pipe, the time it takes for a pulse to travel from A to B is equivalent to the time it takes to travel in the opposite direction, from B to A. When the liquid begins to flow through the pipe, we see that it takes longer for the pulse to travel from B to A than A to B. By looking at the difference in time between these two signals, we can stably determine the flow rate. This flow reading is also unaffected by external factors, such as temperature variations, since the difference between the two signals remains consistent. function that the FDQ utilizes for stable detection is the DSS function. Over time, debris or rust buildup inside of the pipe can lead to difficulty in signal transmission. However, once the weaker signal is recognized, the FDQ series automatically increases the power of the signal to an appropriate level. By continually monitoring and adjusting the strength of the signal, the FDQ ensures reliable detection for long periods of time. This eliminates the need for costly maintenance.